Hello and welcome to Shaman Healing Way. I'm Dr. Norman Wilson, your host. I am a shaman, but I am not a Native American. Today I want to talk about dousing as the first line of defense. And of course, we'll do it the shaman's way. You may ask, why would you want to know anything about dousing or making a dousing rod? I think if you, a member of your family, uh, another loved one, a friend, or a pet, uh, not feeling up to par, feeling lethargic, uh, low energy level, not sleeping well, you may want to use a dousing rod to see about their energy level. It would be a good barometer, if you will, for finding out if there's something wrong and then consulting with your medical profession. Now, I also want to make a distinction here between a dousing rod and a divining rod. I think, for me, a dousing rod can be used to determine water in the ground, uh, electrical current, electrical wire buried in the ground, uh, dead bodies in the ground. Uh, also, and of course, determining energy levels of various things, places, buildings, people. A divining rod has a very special use, I think, uh, connecting to the unknown, the spiritual world, uh, getting a feeling of what is going to happen, what's going on in the future. So I make that distinction, and I am talking now about a dousing rod. You can get one cutting a branch off from a willow tree, a birch bark tree, or a witch hazel tree, and uh, it's a fork like this. See that? Okay. So what you do is you take it by this end, these two sprongs, and you walk along a bank where you want to find out if there's water or a land or if there's an electrical power line there, or energy in a room, it will bend down, okay? Uh, you can use a pendulum if you want to. Okay, uh, swing it around a little bit. Okay. You can buy one, and they go up as high as 70 bucks. Or you could be like me, I prefer to make my own, and I use a coat hanger, metal coat hanger, and I cut it off right here and right there, those two ends, and I use this straight bar. Then I take and bend that into an L shape, 45 degree angle, so it looks like an L, there you go, okay. Uh, so that it's like here you go. I leave it a pretty good shape, pretty good length. Unlike what some do, they just do this and it's there and you look carefully, you can see the finger move. And because I'm so sensitive to what I do for people that it's authentic, okay, that it's genuine, I choose to take and cut a piece of plastic straw. It can be colored if you want, I don't care. I just happen to have a clear one. And I insert that there. Okay. Uh, so then it's like this. Okay, now, uh, there's a little object for you. You have to lean back far enough so it's not gonna swatch you in the face or in the eye if you don't have glasses on. Uh, and it will continue to do this. Now, the reason why it's doing this way, I'll explain in a minute, uh, and you'll understand that then a little better, maybe. So I use that, and I uh, put about, I'm about maybe 8 to 10 inches above the person's body. They're on a massage table. Or they can be in a chair sitting, if you want. And I just simply let this move wherever it wishes over that person's body. And generally, if it stops, that means that there is a lack of energy there. There is a blockage, if you will. 
and that's what we call it a blockage. So that gives you a pretty good indication of the flow of energy. And if there isn't a good flow of energy, you have then some reasonable information that there's a problem. And maybe then it's a good time to talk with your doctor okay, about what's going on with you. Uh, I think that uh, too many people use this kind of a gimmick, if you want to call it that, and I don't. It's just one of the many tools in, in uh, bringing about a healing process uh, by an individual themselves. I want to uh, emphasize that again, that uh, it's a healing process that the individual goes through. I don't do the healing. Okay, I, I'm just a conduit, if you want to call it that. Uh, I think that uh, you can also use the dowsing rod in a room to determine whether or not there is negative energy and why things aren't feeling right in the room. Uh, you know, sometimes you go into a store or a building and there's a tension there and you can't quite put your finger on what it is that's going on. Negative energy. And so you can use a dowsing rod to determine where that neg negative energy is coming from. What is its source? And if it, the dowsing rod turns to the left, okay, that's negative energy. If it turns to the right, it's positive energy. So then you can do something about it. Uh, I think that uh, whatever we can use to help us get reliable information, let's use it. Uh, it it's not hocus pocus. Uh, it's a proven fact. You can actually demonstrate and measurable. There are all kinds of devices that you can use to measure your energy with. Uh, you want to put one on your forehead and you're going to get a reading of your body's temperature created by your body energy. Right. So in addition to uh, this, as I said, you can use it to determine the energy in a room, uh, in your office, if you will. Uh, If you're interested and you find out that you have a, a quantity of negative energy, I have an article up and uh, a video on corespirit.com that shows you how to get rid of the negative energy in your body. And uh, actually, you probably could use it to get rid of it in your room. So this is just one little more tip in the heating process brought to you the Shaman's Way. I've been your host, Dr. Norman Wilson. Thank you for joining me, and I wish you namaste.